Hi, this is Ariel from Scott Flurry Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to send out an image through command using the new command mail. So first you're going to sign into command, which is agent.pw.com. And then if you click on the KW icon in the upper left hand corner, it'll expand this menu. Um, first, I'm going to show you a um, fun little trick to be able to just download an image um, really easily if you are just looking for a graphic to add to an email template and don't need to customize the graphic. So to check out those options, you're going to click on the campaigns section. And then KW has quick posts. So these are videos or images and they're designed to um, just be able to quickly post to social media if you have that connected. But it's cool because you can also just save the images um, and use those in the emails. So if you notice, they have this little shuffle option up here. If you click on that, it'll load a couple different images. Um, so let's say I want to use this one. Um, to send out in an email blast, you're just going to right click on it and do save image as. So it looks like this one is house hunting favorites. It's going to be for the app. So I'm going to save this as app graphic. And then if you do want to see all of their different template options and make something that's more customized to you, we well, can do that under the design section instead. So you can click on the KW logo and then go to designs. Once this page loads, you're going to click on the teal plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. And rather than clicking on the email option, we're going to click on social. And that's because um, as of today, which is July 2nd, um, the email options are just a blank slate. So they don't have graphics within this, this email design section. Um, it's just a, a blank page where you can add your graphics and your text. So to get the image, we're going to download it from the social section instead. So if you click on social and then next, it'll bring you to all of the KW um, different templates. So once that page loads, um, as you can see, they have a bunch of options over here. They have 18 different graphics just for the app. They have options if you're trying to um, promote listings or advertise to buyers. Um, their lead gen option has templates for um, driving traffic over to your KW website. They have holiday greetings. So they definitely have a bunch of fun templates under here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and grab one from the app section for today. So once you find the design that you want to use, you can just hover your mouse over it and click on the little use button in the upper right hand corner. And this is where you can customize the image um, and then save it to add it to the email template. So we do have a video that specifically goes over how to use the design section. So I'm just going to um, show you very briefly just that, that this is where you can customize it. Um, but I'm not going to go into full details on, on how to do the designs. So let's say you just wanted to quickly add your text. We're going to click on the text icon and then add. I'm going to click on this. So this is just a, a good, easy way to be able to um, add your name and your contact information to the image. So let's say Scott Leroy. We're going to add our phone number. We're going to add our email address. And then depending on what state you're in, you can add your license number if you need to. They do have the option to switch out the colors um, and then to resize them. So to resize that, I just clicked back on the graphic and then the text box again. And now I can um, basically just adjust it from the corners or the sides, sorry. <laughs> And then you can add your um, office logo, your headshot if you wanted to. So again, we do have a video that goes over in detail how to, how to use the designs. I can include that in the description of, um, of this video. So this is just to show a quick overview of, of where you can um, kind of access these designs and then how to save them. 
So once it looks great and you're ready to go and, and you like the way that the image looks and, and it's good to add to the email template, you're going to hover your mouse over this um, downward arrow option in the upper right hand corner. So then you'll see it turns into a download button. So go ahead and click on download. And then there's a few options. You can get it as a, as a PDF, which we don't need for what we're doing. Um, they have JPEG and a PNG. I always do PNG. It just makes the image look a bit more clear. So you're going to do download and then get PNG and just click on start download. So depending on how your computer has your download file set up, um, it may just automatically put it right into the download section. That's what mine does. Um, I'm, I'm on a Mac and right now I'm using Firefox. So mine just went ahead and automatically downloaded. So let's go ahead and open that from the download section and put it somewhere where it's going to be easier to find. So I'm going to save mine as um, app image for email blast. And then instead of downloads, I just want to put it on my desktop so I can easily find it. And then once you have that design downloaded, you can click on the done option. And it'll just bring you right back to your design templates. And now you can see it. Um, it's in chronological order. So the most recent one's going to be first. So the next step is going to be to actually create the email template. So one more time, we're going to click on this teal plus sign in the bottom right corner. And this time we're going to go click on email. So select email and then next. And make sure you rename it. Otherwise it defaults to this and it's going to be hard to find later. So we're going to do app email. Uh, let's do July 2020. That way I can just find it easily. <clears throat> so this is what I was mentioning earlier. Their email option, it's just um, a blank slate. So now we have to go ahead and add over our image and then some text. Um, to center the image easily, I like to go under this layout section and then click on the option for one third sections. So that'll bring over three different cells. And then once you have these, we can add the image to the middle one just to help center it better. So to add the image that we just created, it's going to be under this content section. And you may have to scroll down. So you're basically just going to click on image and then drag it right over. And where that green line is, is where the item is going to drop. Um, so you're going to hover over instead of putting it in the first cell or the third one, we want it right in the middle so it's easier to, to be centered. I think I hovered over it too long. Let's see. Here we go. So now it's going to pop up our select image box and it says click here to upload. So app graphic was just the quick one that I downloaded from the campaign section. And then I saved our customed one, customized one as app image for email blast. So I'm going to find that on my computer and go ahead and just um, open that file. Once it loads, you can click on the image right from here and exit out of that box. So as you can see, this image is huge, um, which is no problem because we can resize it right from here. So you'll click on the image and then you can resize it. Um, once it's highlighted or outlined in blue, you can resize it from any of the squares. So first I'm just gonna drag it from the corner to make it smaller. And now the image looks pretty distorted. So I'm gonna click on the um, bottom one and just bring it up. You can also do this from, from the top square too. There we go. And then if you need to adjust it more, you can always just kind of adjust it from any of the corners. And then let's say we want to go ahead and add some text over. We're going to click on the text option and just drag that over. And then you can say um, whatever you would like. So we can do something like, enjoy this free mobile search app to search for homes on the go. 
And if you have um, additional text you want to add or more images, you can add links, link block, and um, there's a few different options over here. So once you have it and it looks good to go, we're going to click on update template. And then it'll say your template was updated. So from here, after, after it gives you the confirmation at the top bar saying your template was updated, now you can click back to go back to your designs. Um, this box should pop up saying, would you like to save and apply your changes? So I'm going to do yes. And now you can see that it's the first thing under our designs. So the next step is to go ahead and email this out. So if you click on the KW icon in the upper left again, you can go back to campaigns. Um, that's fine, we already saved it. And from here, you're going to click on the button for create a new campaign, just right below your name in the upper right corner. So create new campaign and then email. So this is campaign name. We're going to do app email blast. And then what's your goal for this one? We can just put brand awareness. And then of course you can select something different depending on, on what content you're sending out. Um, so this is a really exciting new update. You used to have to send everything out through MailChimp, but now you can send it out through command mail. So if you don't have MailChimp connected and all of your contacts added into MailChimp, that's no problem anymore. Um, you can do it right through command. And then the most exciting thing is now you can send it out to different lists and you can also send yourself a test email, which is a really cool new feature. So we're going to click on command email and then set up campaign. So it's coming from Scott's email address. And then um, over here, you can select your recipient list. And we do have a video that goes over how to create these lists in detail. So I'll include a link for that as well in the description of this one. Um, so you can go ahead and send it to any of those, of those lists that you might already have saved, or you can create a list. So this feature is great because you used to have to send to everyone in your database and now you can break them down. So if you want to send something just to your buyers, just to past clients, or just to your realtor contacts, you can do that. So for our subject, we're going to put something like free mobile search app. And then over here, the um, step six for content, it says select design content for your email. So when we click on this button, and then you click on my design templates, it's going to bring up all of your different email templates. So this is why it's important to name them. Um, otherwise they just show up like this and it's hard to tell which one's which. So we're going to click on the one that we just did, which is app email July, 2020. And then it'll give you the preview version. Oh, I didn't delete that extra text down here. Um, but yes, it'll give you the email preview version. So you can either save it as a draft um, preview. If you're ready to go, you can select your list and send it right out. But I always recommend sending a test email first. That way you can send it right to yourself, see what it looks like, and then you'll be able to just replicate this and then choose um, which list you wanna send it to. So we're gonna do send a test email, and I'm gonna send this to myself. So you would just enter your own email address and send that up. So test email sent. Um, so those are the different options. And then again, I'll link the video on how to create different lists. Um, if you want to go ahead and, and create those and send this out to specific contacts in your database. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Our email is support at scottleroymarketing.com.